The ThinkPad P15V is Lenovo's entry-level mobile workstation, now in its third generation with updated 12th gen Intel H processors, and for the first time at AMD Ryzen Pro 6000 CPU too. DDR5 memory and Wi-Fi 6E, is it enough to win your hard-earned cash? Let's find out. <music> The P15V Gen 3 is made primarily of a polycarbonate and ABS plastic throughout. Typical ThinkPad, the chassis is in all black, only broken by the dual silver hinges. The design is practical rather than stylish. It's been tested to military standard 810H, so it will stand a knock or two. There is an anti-smudge coating throughout, leaving fingerprints to a minimum. Everything feels well put together and stable with little flexing on the keyboard deck. The same can be said for the display lid with good protection for the screen. Lenovo have used the shiny plastic finish to the lid compared to the rubberized material used in other ThinkPads, making it harder to grip the laptop in your hand. Starting at 2.226 kilograms or 4.91 pounds, the speaker grill is positioned at the top of the keyboard deck between the display hinges. The vent grill blows out hot air from the left of the chassis and additional vents can be found underneath. To remove the bottom cover, unscrew the nine captive Phillips screws and pry open the cover. Inside you'll find dual sodium memory slots up to 64GB DDR5 in total, two PCIe Gen 4x4 M.2 2280 slots give storage capacity up to 2TB each, RAID 0 or 1 is supported. The 68Wh battery is removable along with the WAN card, but the Wi-Fi card is soldered on. The display on this review model is a 15.6 inch full HD IPS anti-glare panel from BOE. It's based on the 16 by 9 aspect ratio and has a 300 nits brightness level. In reality the panel is super bright in max settings, great for working in indirect sunlight or office lighting. There is some reflection on the matte screen if you're working in strong sunlight. Viewing angles are good as you would expect from an IPS panel. Colour accuracy is rated at 45%. NTSC, fine for office or STEM work, but not for photographers. Of course, some users will plug in external monitors if needed. The screen has dual hinges and the screen opens flat to 180 degrees. The display bezels are not the thinnest in the world compared to the competition. There is an option for a 4K screen panel with 600 nits, 100% Adobe color gamut and x rite factory display calibration. On the left we have a power connector, one Thunderbolt 4, USB 4, 40 gigabits per second supports data transfer, power delivery 3.0 and DisplayPort 1.4 and a smart card reader. On the right we have a Nano Kensington Lock, a Gigabit Ethernet RJ45 port, two USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 1, one with always on, HDMI 2.1, SD card reader and a headphone microphone combo jack. At the rear there is an optional 4G Nano SIM slot. The wireless card is an Intel Wi-Fi AX211 2x2 Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.2 combo. Wireless connectivity is fast and reliable linked to a Wi-Fi 6 access point. Bluetooth connection was reliable to external mouse. The full-size spill-resistant keyboard has the original 1.8mm travel on each key, much loved by ThinkPad owners over the years and you can see why. Wonderful tactile feel when touch typing on it and the added bonus of full-size arrow keys. There's two level backlit keys and a numeric keypad for number crunching work. Conveniently, the keyboard can be replaced when it's worn out. There's shortcut keys like F10 and F11 to take and end Microsoft Teams calls. The F12 key can be customized for a shortcut like opening an application or website. The Mylar coated touchpad with physical buttons is audible when depressed. The touchpad has a smooth glide action and multi finger gesture support. The ubiquitous track point is present with two mouse buttons and a center scroll button, useful if you're sitting in a tight spot like a train or aeroplane. The 2 watt stereo speakers with Adobe Audio Premium enhancements are not particularly loud, but if you listen at 75 to 90% volume levels, audio is actually quite good for a mobile workstation. There's a hint of bass and mids sound good. It's fine for office audio playing a Spotify playlist or some casual gaming. Here are some audio samples.
The IR and 720p webcam is typical average quality with poor auto exposure, even in good lighting. There's no IR facial tracking that's found in the premium ThinkPad siblings. There is a webcam privacy shutter to stop a hacker or GCHQ from watching you. This review model has a 12th gen Intel Core i7 12800H, 6 plus 8 cores, 20 threads, 2.4 GHz performance core, turbo 4.8 GHz performance core, 24 MB of cache. TDP is rated at 45 watts. There's a stick of 32 GB of DDR5 4800 MHz in single channel mode and storage is in the form of a 1 TB PCIe Gen 4x4 M.2 SSD. General performance with the P15V is excellent, whether it's content creator work, graphics design or medium to heavy 3D CAD workloads. Benchmarking results show excellent scores. 3D Mark Time Spy results came in with an overall score 4724, CPU score 12757 and a graphics score 4252. 3D Mark Time Spy Extreme overall came in at 2149, Graphic score 1,946 and the CPU score 5,292. PC Mark 10 had an overall score of 6,562. Geekbench 5 multi-core score of 12,953 and 1,775 in single core. Geekbench OpenCL score of 59,158. Cinebench R23 testing produced a score of 15,025 multi-core and 1,850 in single core. Superposition resulted in a score of 8060. Chassis temperatures get up to 53.3 Celsius or 128 Fahrenheit by the vents, which is rather hot. The rest of the chassis is slightly warm to the touch. Fan noise is audible, but not stir-crazy noisy when under load. The single fan remains silent during light workloads like surfing or writing a report. The target audience of the Lenovo ThinkPad P15V Gen 3 is 3D modeling, architecture, and STEM work. As it's a workstation, the GPU is ISV certified. Inside this review model is an integrated Intel Iris XE graphics and a dedicated NVIDIA RTX A2000 GPU with 4GB of GDDR6 memory. It offers similar performance to the consumer RTX 3050 Ti, 2560 CUDA, 20 ray tracing, and 80 tensor cores paired with a 128-bit memory bus. The RTX A2000 sits between the Quattro P3200 and the faster Quattro RTX 3000 GPU. If you need more graphics power, look at the ThinkPad P16 with the optional NVIDIA RTX A5500 16GB GDDR6 GPU for a whopping $1,689 or nearly $2,000 add-on. The RTX A2000 will offer a spot of after-hours gaming, running most titles at 1080p ultra detail settings. Cyberpunk 2077 will run on average 44 frames per second smoothly. A heavy hitter like Microsoft Flight Simulator will run with no issues at 1080p settings, along with other titles like Grounded. There's plenty of security features on the P15V, TPM 2.0 encryption security, security chip built in, fingerprint reader, a webcam privacy shutter and a smart card reader. There's a nano Kensington lock to stop someone taking off with the laptop and an IR camera for Windows Hello facial recognition. The 68 watt hour internal battery is fairly small for a large mobile workstation like the P15V. In general light office usage with balance mode set and 50% brightness, battery life was around 8 hours. Under best performance mode and full brightness, heavy workload like 3D or CAD rendering, battery life went down to 1 to 2 hours. Nowadays most laptops support rapid charging. The P15V will charge up to 80% in 1 hour using the 135 watt power adapter. The good, the bad, and the really bad. ThinkPad keyboard. The P15V Gen 3 might be the last ThinkPad of 2022 to use the 1.8mm travel keys, as most other models have moved to 1.5mm or 1.3mm. Once you have tried this keyboard, you don't go back. Port selection. In this day and age of minimalistic ports, the P15V has a good selection of ports like HDMI, RJ45 and SD card reader, as well as USB-C Thunderbolt 4 and two USB Type-A ports, 16x9 panel. Lenovo kept the same chassis as a Gen 2, which is not a bad thing, but as most manufacturers have moved to 16-inch, 16x10 aspect ratio displays, the Gen 3 is still left with a 15.6-inch screen. 
small battery. To accommodate the dual M.2 slots and the two sodium memory modules, the Lenovo engineers made this battery smaller. However, the competition like the HP ZBook PAL G9 has an 83 watt hour battery, dim display. To keep costs down, the P15V has an IPS 300 nits display panel for several of their models and average color accuracy. If you can stretch to the 4K 100% sRGB 600 nits optional add-on for a lover £270 or $305, it is worth the extra payment, or alternatively purchase a nice external monitor. There's healthy competition in the value mobile workstation category. What are the alternatives to the Lenovo ThinkPad P15V Gen 3? In no particular order, here's some to consider. Dell Position 3571 HP ZBook Power G9 Apple MacBook Pro 16 inch Asus ProArt Studio Book Pro 16 OLED the ThinkPad P15V Gen 3 is a minor upgrade to its predecessor, but that's not a bad thing. It's a solid workhorse offering decent performance, plenty of ports, good upgradability, and an almost perfect keyboard. It's solid and well put together, although there's a bit more plastic than we would like. There are some weak points. The display options could be better. You might find yourself plugging in an external monitor. Plus, it's left behind in 2022 with a 16x9 display. The small battery leads to so-and-so battery run times. Cooling and thermal management could be better. Having said that, the P15V Gen 3 strikes a good balancing act at its target market looking for value for money in a mid-range mobile workstation. If you need more power and a better display, look at its more expensive sibling, the ThinkPad P16. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the Lenovo ThinkPad P15V Gen 3 mobile workstation. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you would like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers.